I'm Daniel Pewarty, adult programming librarian at the Wichita Public Library. I want to talk to you today about books by authors under 30, which is category 7 for Read ICT. Now, the, now, for this category, not all books have to be written by people that are currently under 30. They just have to be written when the author was under 30 at the time. So for my first selection, I wanted to go with a new book. So I went with Homebody by Rupi Kaur, which came out last year when Kaur was just 28 years old. It's a collection of the minimalist style poems that Kaur is known for on Instagram. In this book, it's a very personal take for Cower as she addresses a lot of different topics relating to her life, including her battles with depression and mental illness, as well as being a survivor of abuse. She also talks about her culture and heritage and how it was growing up as a working class immigrant in Canada. One of the cool parts is every poem or about every poem includes a cool little minimalist sketch that Cower did herself. It's kind of in the vein of Shel Silverstein, so check this one out. So for my second book, uh, I love reading comics, and we have a lot of graphic novels at the library, so I went with Why the Last Man. It first started at 60 issue run in 2002 when Brian K. Vaughn, the comic writer, was only 29 years old. Why the Last Man tells the story of York Brown, who is the sole surviving man on planet Earth after a mysterious illness wipes out like all males on Earth overnight. It follows him, his pet monkey Ampersand, and his personal bodyguard as he travels the world in search of a cure for this mysterious illness. Brian K. Vaughn has continued to have a great career in comic book writing, and they're turning Why the Last Man into a series which will debut on TV later this year. For my third title, I went with the classic, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, which is just celebrated its bicentennial. Released in 1818, when Mary Shelley was just 21 years old, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein has been scaring readers and audiences for over 200 years. Frankenstein, or as some people like to call Frankenstein's monster, has been in books, movies, comic books, video games, and it's a, like a classic literary creature that just shows up time and time again. And sometimes you have to go back to where it all began and check out the, with the original source. Can't recommend Mary Shelley's Frankenstein enough, especially if you like Victorian era science fiction or you just like stories about monsters and mad scientists. Check it out. These are my three choices for category number seven, authors under 30. For more title suggestions, check out our website, wichitalibrary.org forward slash read ICT. And make sure to check out our podcast, Read, Return, Repeat, on all major podcasting platforms.